Hello guys, today we'll be doing this Thor's X. Uh, so I already did one for myself, and this was the 3D model. I generated a rendering, and this was the final 3D printed part. And I was worthy, so I was able to pick it up. <laughs> so let's start. <laughs> so I'll make this in the assembly module. So insert a new part. Rename it to Thor's X2. You can you can give any name. Just click on Edit Part. So first we'll have to make some plane there. So make these planes. Let's give it 30. Draw another plane again from the front plane. Give it a distance of 170. So you can use this this tool layer to view all the planes, and also we'll have to make some planes for the other side for the X. So let's flip the offset and make a plane at let's say 105. Make another plane at 170 here as well. Flip the offset and this would be from the front plane. There we go. So now we have all the planes. So let's select the sketch here and draw a rectangle. You can use control key with the number keys for toggling these views for the for different planes. Give it a dimension 140 for the both both lines and Use a chamfer here. First, give it a dimension first, so you can choose, so you don't have to change change the dimension manually every time. So exit the sketch again. Now select the plane one and draw a sketch here as well. Rectangle. Give it a dimension of. 180 and also use a chamfer so you can change the dimension here so again so you don't have to change the dimensions every time manually so exit the sketch now use a front plane to draw the sketch and Again use the rectangle tool and give it any dimension let's say give it a length of 90 and width of 70 and this the, cent the center should be on the center here so make this coincident and exit the sketch Take a new rectangle and draw a line from the center to the center of rectangle and make sure to convert this into four construction. Give this offset of 15 and again 180 and what was this? 22. Exit the sketch again. Now this offset is because here we have this length which is larger in the lower lower side so now make another rectangle once again and this rectangle should have a center which is again offset from offset from the original center and make this let's say 20 okay and give it a overall length of 300 and make this 10 so now we have all the all the sketches set up so i can now start lofting the the sketches and just click on the loft base 
and select these here click yes and now select another lock for this you cannot lock all of these at once because for lock you have to have the same the same corners here let's say if i want to lock it lock it here sorry and if i select this rectangle now this will get you know start getting messy as these corners the corners here are eight in numbers and i only have four four corners here so i'll so i'll have to use a separate lock for this you can select these rectangles one by one and make sure that they the all the corners are one side now you can just click on check now use the front plane and sketch on it so you can use the section view and draw a rectangle here again give it any dimension let's say 90 and length of say that it we have to delete this constraint so give it some length 120 okay before i exit the sketch i also give the chamfer here 15 is good i think and exit exit the sketch now uh, disable the section view and pause select this give it some dimension let's say 40 45 and select direction 2 and let's give it 15 okay if you want to make it bigger you can make it bigger ninety five okay and now there is a slot in in this so I can make a slot just just click the front plane and select the same sketch and convert the entities exit the sketch now you can use the extrude cut give the direction and give this 40 or 35 and for the direction to give it 5 and go into the thin feature and give it 5 and offset it so we have now this slot is here now you can click on right plane and draw a sketch on that click on this three point arc and make make a arc here you can select these edges and the arc make it tangent to this now click on this line change it to for construction and this line is so we make sure that these two points of arc are equally distant get this 145 sorry okay now you can click this and make it coincident on these curves here or from both side just close the this sketch just a rough shape just to close the sketch exit the sketch and extrude cut through all both and right 
and click it okay now you can go into the chamfer click on the distances and you have to choose asymmetric and provide two different dimensions sorry the face shouldn't be selected and uh, select the other edge so to have a sharp corner sharp edge sorry okay just click on check and we have this shape now you can make further improvements if you want for the shape let's say if i shape this enter a little more maybe a little more so we can have a more length on the lower side so now we have the base
into for construction exit this Hammer hit hammer there. Just just copy it roughly. You can you can change it later. Now select the dimension tool, and we know that this handle will be around as it is 90 centimeters. So let's make it 80 centimeters. If we delete the size for this hammer here. Now we have this rough sketch here. We'll have to model the shapes for the for this round shape here. So select the sketch tool and take the ellipse here and make a rough shape. Sorry. Now take this smart dimension and give it a minor diameter of let's say 45 and 
द मेजर डायमीटर मे बी फिफ्टी now we need another plane i'll go into reference geometry and select plane select this point and the spline and it will automatically generate a plane perpendicular to this spline just make sure that you select the perpendicular here now start sketching on this plane make it of shape again select the lips too make an ellipse and then give it a dimension make sure that all of these vertical dimensions are are of 45 mm and for the shape of this hammer you can play with this major diameter previously it was 50 now I'll make it 55 exit the sketch make another plane go into reference geometry select the point and the spline now it will automatically generate another plane now sketch on it again and take the ellipse tool give it a minor diameter of 45 mm and a major diameter of so give it a major diameter of let's say 70 uh, we'll have to make this bigger as this part is bigger here let's make it 80 now we have this this shape and these lips shapes here so at the end we'll have to make another spline so go into sketch of the right plane and now now we'll be making the spline which will be starting from these points here from the ellipses just try to copy the previous spline and select these points now they will help us in generating the shape when we use the loft exit the sketch now go into the lofted boss select the profile all the profiles and in the guide curves select this line which is going through these or you can go into select mates and select the sides you want to mate so now we have this 
position correctly here. So the purpose of making these two parts separately, separately was so you can easily 3D print and late, later you can just join this with any adhesive and you can give some beautiful colors to it if you want to. So the size here was the actual size which I found on the internet but if you want to make a 3D printable version of this you, you can just open each part separately and just go into insert features and select the scale here and just make sure you have selected uniform scaling and giving it a scale of 0 0.12 so once you have scaled this model you can do the same to the handle the handle thing and you can also scale this down to 0 0.12 and this will be the size which you can you, which you can easily 3d print and you can also make a keychain out of it so guys um, after you have done this you can just save the stl file and go and 3d print this x and this is it guys i hope you have liked this tutorial and just keep like and sharing my videos and also subscribe to my channel okay guys take care bye